hello, hello, and welcome back to another reality check video review. Today we're going to be opening up the TiVo Tornado, and uh, you guys are here a little bit early. You need to see, you need to see how we got here. You, you, you got to go back. You got to, you got to go back and watch the dance video part. Yeah, you do. You, you. <laughs> Okay, so as I was saying earlier, welcome back to another 3D printing review. We're looking at the TiVo Tornado, and this printer is a beautiful printer. Not only does it actually have kind of a shiny metallic, you know, green paint on it, 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 actually, it looks a lot like our old friend, the CR10, in many, many ways. It's got the 1Z lead access uh, screw, I guess the rod back here on the, on the end, as well as the fact that it's got kind of a separate little unit over here. Much of it looks a lot like that, uh, like I said, Creality, uh, but the TiVo itself has its own great reputation. And what I can say right here is there are a few differences. The heat bed definitely is a little bit different in how it is actually created. It also comes with a nice tornado tack. You, since you can see in the background, we've also got a red one available as well. So it came with a couple different pieces right there. So I don't have to get any PEI sheet or anything like that. I can print directly on top of this board right here. Not only that, it's got a Bowden extruder, which is a little bit different than the previous ones. And uh, not only that, but it's got a Titan uh, extruder, which I'm not exactly sure what that means, but it sounds pretty cool. Uh, the printing accuracy is right around 50 microns, which is, you know, great. And uh, the unit actually is very, fairly small. Uh, when you put it together, it, it boasts that it's 95% already put together, and I can say that's fairly accurate. It only took me uh, just a few minutes, maybe less than 10, uh, right around 15 minutes to put together total, and I do things nice and slow. So uh, about 15 minutes to put the guy together. Uh, to level the bed, all you have to do is make sure that you put the screws uh, as tight as possible all the way around the bed. Once you do that, you can go in here in the menu. It's got custom commands. When you go into the custom commands, it has different pieces that you can click on, such as front left, front right, rear right, rear left. And when you do that, the head automatically moves. So uh, once you go home, you can say, hey, go front left, and it'll go to the front left, and you can actually make sure it's perfectly level right here. Once you make sure it's perfectly level, you go to front right, it'll automatically come over here to a certain spot, it'll go down, and you just make sure that they're all exactly the exact same distance away. And if you wanna make sure that you are the right distance, 
one thing you can do is you can actually put a piece of paper on here and you can move the piece of paper back and forth and if it touches the piece of paper, you know, but just allows the piece of paper to move, it's usually a good sign. You want it to kind of just be touching it but also allow it to move freely. So make sure they're all just about that thickness, a paper's thickness, and then you'll be good on your level. So uh, we've already got this guy leveled. We've actually got it already warmed up. So the first thing we need to do is actually, uh, we're gonna go ahead and home it one more time. And after we home it, we need to add some plastic to it. One really cool thing about this printer is that when it came, it actually had this already on the bed, which this is actually a plastic print, which shows that they made sure that the printer not only printed correctly, but it printed you know, level without any issues at all. So we know already, even before we use this printer, uh, fairly certainly that it's going to, to work without any problems. So the one thing this printer did not come with, this printer did not come with any plastic at all. It came with no plastic. Not only did it not come with any plastic, but it did not come with anything to put the plastic on. Like I've got no way to actually you know, put the plastic reel anywhere. So I'm gonna have to use one of my other filament reel holders as well as a different reel of filament that I have to print something right here. Uh, let's go ahead and get that going. Okay, so for the first print, what we're gonna do here is get some, uh, we've got some red Sun Lu filament. Probably gonna go ahead and hit XYZ test. All right, so this is the XYZ test. It's gonna make sure that it can go all the way. I can actually say this is the first time I've ever seen a printer that, that has an XYZ test built into it with the, uh, with some G-code, that is awesome to have. I really like this, so. What you can see right now is what it's doing is it's just making sure that it has no problem going everywhere. <laughs> I feel like it's dancing with me. So it's partying, 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 throwing plastic back, putting plastic in, running through the whole gamut of tests here. I like it. I like a printer that actually runs itself through some tests. Okay, so we just ran the first XYZ test here on the TiVo Tornado, and what it does is it just makes the printer go, you know, up and down crazy. It runs the extruder. It just runs the printer, you know, through every which direction it possibly could go to make sure that nothing's loose, to make sure everything's actually tight, and that, of course, that all your cables are loose in the way they need to be so that it can move uh, properly. So anyway, that takes just about five minutes to complete. Uh, and right before we go ahead and start printing the next thing, I just wanted to mention real quickly, one thing I generally like to do to a printer like this is I like to add, uh, whether it be lights to it, uh, I like to make these printers wireless. So I do have a guide on how to add OctoPrint to it. Uh, you can do that by adding a Raspberry Pi, and at that point you can add an Arduino camera, so you can actually monitor at all times and do automatic time lapses, all kinds of cool things like that. So I've added a bunch of uh, links in the description of all the different types of things that I usually add to printers. Um, number two, I also wanted to mention these GTEC 3D Wi-Fi little USB pieces right here are kind of uh, like what I was actually doing with the with the Raspberry Pi and the OctoPrint. Uh, the only difference is this uses a different application, it's a lot smaller, and it uses a, you know, a, a, a lot less uh, of the bulk of the Raspberry Pi that we don't actually end up using for 3D printing. So this is, a device is a lot cheaper. A device like this costs under $40, so you can actually get it for uh, you know the price of a, of a Raspberry Pi, plus it comes with everything already ready to go, so you don't actually need to do anything. So definitely check one of these out. I will be doing a future video on one of these specifically, so you can actually look forward to one of those videos coming. But I definitely wanted to mention it right here in case you're looking for a solution like that. Okay, so the TiVo Tornado is certainly very similar to the Creality CR10 in many ways, uh, but at the same time, it's very unique as well. It does not come, like I said, with the filament piece, uh, and that's fine because what I saw in here is you can actually print a filament, uh, I guess, holder. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back into print from SD, and I see it's got TiVo test, test 2020, and then it's got spool holder. And uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and do each one of these. I'm gonna start out with the TiVo test, and I'm gonna see what that one is. It's gonna go ahead and heat the bed up right now, and it's gonna go ahead and start to print, I assume. So this is uh, going to hopefully test the bed, and then we're going to keep doing some more tests after that. All right, so it's getting started right now for its last one. Um, what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna do all the tests, so I'll probably go ahead and to kind of just quickly show through the different tests. Lastly, we're gonna print the spool holder, and then once we print the spool holder, we're gonna go back and we're gonna go, uh, you know, find one of the coolest prints that I, I've been looking at a long time, and we're gonna print a few different things with this guy so to, to just kind of test the capabilities of it, as well as print a vase. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, uh, and, and be sure to check out the 3D printer giveaway where I, I am giving one of these printers away. So anyway, I appreciate you guys checking out this one. See you in the next videos, bye.